Hello, this is Jason Benedict. It's my pleasure to welcome you to this discussion of the financial statements. Now there are three financial statements that we're going to talk about. The first is the income statement, uh, the second is the balance sheet, and the third is the cash flow statement, which is also sometimes called the statement of cash flows. And uh, so let's first talk about uh, the income, the income statement. Now the income statement um, is sometimes called the profit and loss statement, which is sometimes abbreviated just to P&L, profit and loss, or P&L, or the income statement. Now what the income statement tells you is how profitable or unprofitable your business is over a given period of time, okay? over a given period of time. That's, that's important and we'll look at that a little more in just a moment. Now the basic equation for the income statement is this. Revenues minus expenses is equal to net income. Now there are some synonyms for revenues. Revenues is sometimes called revenue, sometimes it's called sales, sometimes it's called sales revenue. Um, and net income is synonymous with profit. So whenever you hear net income, you want to think profit. Thus the income statement is sometimes called a profit and loss statement. Now, what I'd like to do now is take a look at a sample income statement from XYZ Manufacturing, okay? So this is an income statement for, uh, income statement for XYZ Manufacturing corporation and it's for the period beginning January 1 2011 and ending December 31st 2000 sorry 2011 and so it's going to include the financial transactions um, that take place during that time and so uh, what does XYZ Manufacturing do? Well, they're, this company manufactures those steel doors, the roll-up shop doors. So they're a roll-up shop door um, manufacturer and distributor. Um, they, they import the, the parts and they assemble them in their workshop and then they, they install them in the shops. And so uh, let's say that XYZ Manufacturing um, sells their doors for $500 and they sell a thousand of them for that period of time January 1 2011 to December 31st 2011 they sold a thousand of these shop doors so their sales revenue for that period of time um, is for those $500 per door times 1,000 sales gives them a total sales revenue of 500,000, 500, okay? So total re sales revenue of 500,000. Now, remember our equation, sales revenue minus expenses equals net income. So now we want to consider the expenses for XYZ manufacturing. The first expense that I want to consider is the cost of goods sold. Now this includes, we're, we're going to condense a number of expense line items. You can have an income statement that shows detail or summary. For the, for the purpose of our illustration today we're going to show a summary income statement. So what are the cost, the direct cost that went into um, getting those parts, assembling them in the workshop, and, 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 uh, 
and getting them ready to sell. And so that's the cost of goods sold. Well, the cost of goods sold for XYZ manufacturing, uh, let's just say it was 200 Thousand. We'll keep our numbers nice and round uh, for the sake of the of the illustration. Two hundred thousand was the cost of goods sold. Okay. Now um, that gives us a gross margin, which gross margin is the sales minus the direct cost or the cost of goods sold. It gives you a, a gross margin of three hundred thousand okay so three hundred thousand but that's so that but those are the that's the cost of goods sold the direct cost that went into getting those um, doors ready to sell now what what about the other cost what about the overhead of running this business so let's let's consider some of those costs as well those are costs like the facilities cost And we can imagine that they uh, that when they could the the cost of keeping their facilities utility utilities rent things like that for this company totaled seventy thousand um, dollars. Another major overhead expense is always salaries. Okay, salaries expense. So what was salaries expense? Well, we can imagine that X Y Z Corporation has a couple of salespeople a small installation team of foreman and the president so the salaries for the entire company total one hundred one hundred thousand dollars okay one hundred thousand dollars in salaries and then there's the other expenses and again since this is a summary we'll just call that GSA or general sales and administration expense and so we'll say that that total uh, fifty now again, one thing you need to recognize is that these are nice round numbers. In in a real scenario, they would never be this 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 round. But we'll we'll go with it for here. So for the ease of the ease of the math. So that brings us to net income or the profit for this business. So can you do that calculation? Um, we have our sales revenue minus our cost of goods sold. That gave us a difference of $300,000. But then we had the other, the overhead expenses of $70,000, $100,000, and $50,000. When we do the math, that brings us a net income figure of $80,000. So that is, again, the income statement shows you how profitable or unprofitable your business is over a given period of time. Okay, um, we've, we've taken a look at the income statement. Now let's take a look at the balance sheet.